Hey guys, Jim here with another video for you. This is my pickup from the recent Kino Lorber Blu-ray and 4K sale that they are currently having until the end of the month. But before I begin, at the end of this video, if you like what you see, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe, but most importantly, leave comments. Let me know how you feel about my pickups. Let me know what you picked up in the sale, if, it, if anything at all. So we're gonna go through these real quick. We're not gonna go into it too much. Uh, I, I picked up six titles from the uh, sale. They were all under 10 bucks. They were $9.99 a piece, except for one, which was $7.99. So uh, I got six titles for 57 bucks. Plus tax, it came up to literally 60 bucks. So that's great in my opinion. Uh, four out of the uh, six came with uh, slip covers. And we'll just go through this real quick. These are in alphabetical order. So the first is Two Days in the Valley. As you can see, all star cast in this movie. Charlize Theron, as far as I know, this is her movie debut. Uh, this came out in 96. And look how young she is. This is kind of a Quentin Tarantino ripoff, quite honestly. But quite honestly, I enjoy it. And again... Excellent cast and 10 bucks, absolutely. Next, A Fistful of Dynamite, aka Duck You Sucker, starring Rod Steiger and James Coburn, directed by the incredible Sergio Leone. I am a huge Sergio Leone fan. I've seen this movie, I haven't seen it in years. I remember enjoying it. This one does have reversible artwork. Oop, as I drop it on the floor, sorry. That is the original one sheet as far as I know. I'm sure if it's not, my buddy over at uh, Eastward, e Eastwood Life for Fan will let me know, Carlos, because he is definitely more of a Western expert than I am. But I don't enjoy this movie as much as the Dollars Trilogy, but I do remember I really do enjoy it. And again, it's Leone, so how can it not be great? <clears throat> Keeping that Western trend alive. Joe Kidd with Clint Eastwood. And John Saxon, Robert Duvall, directed by John Sturgis. This one came out in 1972. I've seen this movie. I do not remember it, to be honest. It's been years since I've seen this one. Again, it has reversible artwork. I know this is not in the top tier of Clint Eastwood films, but however, this was the one that only cost $7.99. So I had to grab it. And of course, it came with a slip, so that's great. And I'm looking forward to revisiting it. Then we have Leviathan. This one is directed by uh, George Cosmatos. Came out the same summer, 1989, as The Abyss and Deep Star Six. That was like the uh, Ocean Monster slash Alien trilogy. I don't know what the hell you would call it. I remember seeing all three of those films theatrically, though. And I always I, The Abyss is definitely the best out of the three of them. But I always enjoyed this movie. That's that's another uh, the slipcover. That's actually the uh, poster art that I remember. But. Uh, I don't know, this maybe was a video release artwork or, or an alternate poster, I don't know. But anyways, uh, I remember enjoying it, and for the longest time I wanted this. Scream Factory had this uh, years ago, but it went out of print a long time ago. And I always enjoyed this movie, and I wasn't willing to pay astronomical prices for that out-of-print Blu-ray. So I was really happy when Kino re-released this, and I'm also happy that I waited until the sale to get it. Because again, 10 bucks with a slip. So that's Leviathan. This one did not have a slip, which I didn't expect it to because this is one of their older titles. Masquerade with uh, Rob Lowe and Meg Tilly. This came out in 88. This is a good murder mystery. Uh, again, I haven't seen it in years, but I remember I enjoyed it at the time. And I remember at the time... I, I always liked Rob Lowe, but I always kind of thought, you know, he was a pretty boy. And then I saw this movie, and I was like, you know what? He actually is a good actor. And I remember, this is a really solid film. 
And last and certainly not least, and this one is probably the one I'm most excited about out of all of them, North Dallas 40 with Nick Nolte and Mac Davis. This one does have a slip, but I already checked the artwork is not reversible, so I'm just going to leave the slip on. Uh, this one is directed by uh, Ted Kochiff, and I should have waited <laughs> until I got this because I just filmed the drive-in memory video. This is one of those movies that I saw at the drive-in in the 70s. Uh, I love this movie. I haven't seen it in years. I've been wanting it forever, and I was so happy that Kino released it, and I'm ecstatic to have it in my collection for 10 bucks. So that's my pickups for the Kino sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, in the comments, please let me know what you got and how you feel about these films. And until the next time, we'll see you then.